Liberty, Alina is Hinogen. Mr. and Miss Seniors, Rilu G. Stanio and Yanisi E. De La Cruz. Mr. and Miss Juniors, Kelly Tinglor and Arlene Larumbe. Eliza May Ariza Class Juniors President Bimbo G. Halirol What a journey it has been Class Seniors Vice President Remark M. Buko Class Juniors Vice President Mary Goldeth T. Aguilar Secretary Jesse Maika Duha and Sarah Jean Palang Auditor Francis Bill Campomanes and Tim Kister A. Bernales. Clark Arnuza and Rodel Chris E. Noinai. Sergeant at Arms, Carlo Cultura and Charmaine Torreon. And other grade 5 and 6 pupils respectively. My requested to please stand for our invocation and this is to be followed by the singing of our Philippine National Anthem, Miss Verna J. Lapura conducting at the school hymn, Grade 5 and Grade 6 pupils.
may now find your seats. To officially open this program, let us welcome Sir Marlon Joseph P. Bye Bye for her for his opening remarks. My due respect to our principal, Madam Leah B. Alcaraz, teachers, parents, and students, a lovely morning to each and everyone. Responsibility is one way of molding ourselves in all aspects to be popular, good leader, and successful. Depend on how we deal our responsibilities in life. Remember, a, success, a successful person has great responsibility. And great responsibility comes from simple responsibility. Home and school are your training ground to show your passion of handling responsibilities. I would like to encourage the, the descendants to be more responsible. And to the graduating students, this is not the aim because responsibility is a lifetime. For that, I welcome you all to our turnover ceremony 2014. Enjoy and be amazed as the program goes on. Thank you and good morning. Thank you sir. Bye bye for that uh, warming opening remarks. Now, Requesting the Miss Alma Mater, Miss Liberty, the Muses of Juniors and Seniors, then the Squirt, to, be, to please come here on stage. Testament. Here is Miss Julimi E. Rivera for that. Please give her a round of applause. Good morning to each and everyone. It's another juniors and seniors turnover day. With the varied activities loaded upon us, we seem to forget the months and years that passed. After receiving all the class from the seniors, it is now our time to turn over to you juniors what we accepted the juniors a year ago. We hope, as we bequeath to you the responsibilities passed on to us by the seniors last year, that you, the juniors, are willing to face the problem that may come your way as you take part in greater and wide challenging tasks. Just remember that no mountain can be so high, no sea can be so deep. You can climb and cross all these obstacles if you work with perseverance, purpose, and enthusiasm. And now, we have the K of Responsibility, a symbol of leadership, handed by the senior president, Eliza May Ariza, and to be accepted by the junior class president, Bimbo Hanirol. This K is a symbol of the leadership. 
You, the juniors, are responsible to looking after the general welfare of our brother and sister. We must be already answering the call within the path in authority in this school campus. As well as your command, we dare it is failure of success, achieve to what is said and have far to your connection. All this blessing can be done with the Almighty God and the task which you have bear in your shoulder. It will not become a burden if you do it with a set of everlasting love and dedication. We, the seniors, will not cover this case. The juniors, congratulations. And now, let's hear the Book of Knowledge. It's handed by Raymart Buko and to be accepted by Mary Goldas Aguilar. This book is a symbol of education. You, the juniors, are responsible after the general welfare of our brothers and sisters. The sophomore and freshmen, they will look upon you for guidance and right education. You are responsible to whatever learned, whether it is failure or success. Cling to what is right and have courage with your conviction. All this can be done with the blessings of our Almighty Father and the task which you have to bear in your shoulders will not become a burden if you do it with a sign of patience, love, and dedication. We, the seniors, will now turn over this book to you. On behalf of the junior, I am very happy and willingly accept this book as the symbol of education. We will do our best to do the task given to us. Congratulations. At this time, let's hear the school, which is the symbol of school documents. It's handed by Jasimika Duhak and to be accepted by Sarajin Palang. On behalf of the juniors, I her I her by accept this task. We, pro we promise to perform to the best we could the duties of this good this good mothership in this school. And now let's hear the crook, which is the symbol of civil authority. Is handed by Brittany Laxon and to be accepted by Charmaine Torion. This group is a symbol of leadership and civil authority. As a student, you are trained to become good citizens of the country. You are therefore expected to lead the studentry in the practice of their duties as good, bow abiding citizens. You are, so accept this group to remind you always of your responsibility. We the juniors will definitely wish to be practiced being good citizens as good as uh, members and our own homes as good students of our school and in the community where we belong and to become good citizens of our country, the Philippines. Congratulations. Now, let's hear the song by the juniors, Loneliness and the song by the seniors, Walk With Me.
let's hear the turn offer of the saber, which is the symbol of military authority. It's handed by John Carlo Cultura and to be accepted by Irish Kalimpusan. This saber is a military authority. In this school, you are trained to be ready for any call of service to the country. To your, therefore, is visit to lead the student in this endeavor. So accept this saber and congratulations. On behalf of our juniors, I duty fully accept this authority with hope that the Almighty Father be with us for guidance. Thank you. And now, let's hear the Pythagorean theory, which is the symbol of mathematical authority. It's handed by his Omega birthday and to be accepted by Rich and Dave Malwenda. As you perform your mathematical calculation, with a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals c squared plus b squared plus a squared. You will soon become one of those who made sense of technology, a part of our developing world. We therefore leave to you this challenge. I hereby accept this task. I hereby accept this task given to me. I will try my best to the best I could for the upliftment of the standard of our school. Thank you. Congratulations. Now, let's hear the Terpsichorean theory, which is the symbol of art of dancing. It's handed by Carl Vincent Ray Mignal and to be accepted by Dimple Lagansua. Dancing has an art that's made to be developed for opportunity to give of greatness. Wonderful, it is good for you achievement in the field of performing arts. As the talent given to me from our Heavenly Father, I promise to spare my ability to what I have learned in dancing to the students in order to develop their hidden talent. Thank you. Let's hear the class history. It's handed by Jenica Blee Lidar. visitors, ladies and gentlemen. As a student, I would like to share to you my experience that somehow you can have something beneficial for you. Honestly speaking, I undergo several trials and difficulties in my life before attaining the last phase of my elementary course. I never hide nor make a pretense that I come from a poor family. So, I realize if ever we are poor, my family cannot afford my studies with one sister and one brother. My father worked hard to take all sacrifices to solve all the problems so that we can climb the success so that I can finish my elementary school. I, I'll be going to other step in another level. I really, really work hard, study hard so I can help my parents so that I can pay back to them. Mama, thank you for your 100 percent support in my studies. Even you are busy. Papa, thank you for your sending me to school as my best friend and my guidance. Teachers, thank you for your guidance, self and the understanding. I will give my very best to become a good person and for you to be happy. So let this be a challenge for us if ever we want to be successful someday. Sacrifices and determinations are the best weapons to attain success. 
Once again, good morning. And now, let's hear the horseshoe, which is the symbol of good luck. It's handed by Angela May Carlet, but to be accepted by Eliloisa Moret. As you are now leaving for task of their alma mater, we the juniors would like to offer the simple token. Horsho. Horsho is sim symbolized good luck. We would like to off to give the senior. Having been together in this institution, leave us with many memories to cherish. Although the part is a bit faithful, yet we must go to fulfill in our ambition in life on behalf of the seniors. I wish I would sincere to accept this token from you. Thank you. At this time, let's hear the class prophecy by Yanisi de la Cruz. As I was walking on Andromos Boulevard with my hubby Francis Relo, a chemical engineer, I saw Eliza May, a successful businessman having several chains of big department stores in Makati City. We never talked much since I was also in a hurry to attend a conference to be conducted at Manila Hotel which is sponsored by the company where I am employed as an accountant and Johnson as the executive vice president of that same company. The meeting is almost ended at 12 high noon so we decided to visit our uncle who is confined in the hospital before going home. There, a long lost familiar face called my attention. And when we see each other closely, I knew that she was Julie Mee, who is now a resident physician of that hospital. She said that she was luckily married to Carl Vincent Ray, our junior president, during our, uh, our days. And she added that Francis Bell is assigned in Davao as bunch manage of the Magnolia product. I was very amused of the unexpected person I missed that day. After visiting our uncle, we dropped by at the Jollibee Fast Foods to have our snacks. And what a coincidence, Giancarlo, who was the class mayor before in our class, is already the supervisor of the, the said fast foods and before leaving he told us that he'll be getting married soon to our lovable classmate Jenica <laughs> who is the professor of that University of the Philippines he is expecting our presence at that time so we can find that he'll, he'll be getting he'll be going on that occasion my husband is driving our car, our car in a hurry when all of a sudden it dumped another car in front of us. I was unaware so my head was accidentally hit and shouted. I was awakened and I knew that it was dream, a dream that hopefully come true. Legacies entrusted to you is a challenge to every junior to strive and fulfill it with honor and dignity. As you finish the school year next year as responsible students of your school, congratulations to all of you juniors.
Thank you, juniors and seniors. Now, at this juncture, to fully internalize and understand the message or the essence of this program, let us welcome our speaker for today, Sir Joy C. Kapampangan. Let's give him a resounding applause. Before I give my message to uh, to you about love, let me greet first my fellow teachers, our very own principal, Mrs. Leah Bielkaras, parents who are uh, with her today, and most of all, the students that I am going to educate what is love all about. Good morning to all of you guys. Please listen carefully, students, for I am telling you what is love is all about. In biblical meaning of love, the primary meaning of the word love in the scripture is a purposeful commitment to sacrificial action for another. In the Bible, it is a fact that loving God is equated with obeying. These two are inseparable. In our day, most define love as some type of feeling. We fall in love or two people meet and it is love at first sight. But the world's love is a selfish matter. If you are attracted to me, be nice to me. Meet my needs and love me. I, in return, will love you. The world's love is based on getting something for someone else. The world does not give love where it does not benefit themselves. If you do not please me, then I have no love for you. Thus, the world love must be earned by making someone else feel good. Let me share this to you, a known Bible text coming from the book of 1 John 4 verse 8, saying, God is love. God chose to love, God chose to love us and His love was not based on our meriting it in any way. Let us define love so we will know what it is truly. When we use the word love, it will bring different meaning to different people. The King James translates the, the word love to charity. No matter, uh, no matter what, we will instill and bear in our mind that God loved and because of His love, His Son, Jesus Christ, was sent to us to save us from death. Everybody must say, uh, say this uh, Bible text with me, John 3 verse 16, everybody. John 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I hope that you all guys learned something to my message this morning. Let us give importance how God truly loves us. Thank you for listening. Thank you, sir, for that meaningful and informative message that you have given us at this very moment. And now, let's witness the garland and bracelet ceremony of juniors and seniors. <laughs> Let's have